I don't care to know how rich you are. Je veux pas savoir si tu es riche. When you are, when you are evil rich, I pity you. Quand tu es même riche, tu es vite. Because your 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 percentage of making heaven is about forty to fifty. Parce que ton pourcentage pour entrer au ciel, c'est 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 tout peu. 
So tonight we are going to be hearing the way it's supposed to be. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Behold your little boy again. The boy you are gradually bringing up. Father, I want to speak your word again tonight. Father, may I not speak myself. May I not speak myself. Father, every spirit of fear or favor I destroy it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I put my ear in your mouth. Speak to my ear that you might speak through my mouth. Every, every anti word of God, I silence them. Jesus, thou alone must reign to men and reign forever. Open the ears of your children to hear. Open their heart to assimilate. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The topic tonight says, the topic tonight says, it is no more sleepy time. It is no more sleepy time. In other words, wake up, sleeping guide. Wake up. Of the sleeping guard. Are you sleeping? Tonight I'm talking to people who are in Christ. People who know Christianity, who are Christians. I'm talking to myself and talking to you, talking to you also. The days of sleeping is over. The days we are now is for us to wake up as a child and children of God. The days of sleeping is over. If you are actually ready to serve God, you must wake up now. Spiritually, wake up. In every aspect of your life, wake up. If you don't wake up, the devil will make you up. And if you wake up, the Lord will rise you up. If you wake up, the Lord will rise you up. And tonight, as many that will be waking up, the Lord shall raise you up. As a, as a Christian, you are the God of your family. As a Christian, you are the God of your community. As a Christian, you are the God of your nation. As a Christian, you are the eyes of the world. You are the one Christ is seen through. When you sleep, the world is sleeping. And when you sleep, the devil comes in. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 26, verse 7 and 8. They saw David and Abishia came to the people by night. 
And behold, Saul lay asleep. Saul lay lie down sleeping. Who is Saul? Saul was the king of Israel. Who is David? David was anointed to become the king of Israel. There is somebody here tonight who is anointed to be something in future. That there is somebody here tonight who will have the prospect to become something in the future. Who oh, wants to become a champion someday? And there's also so, some people tonight who are already champions. In this case, Saul was already a champion. Who want to remain a champion? And David is a champion prospect. Uh, David is a champion at the venue. Who wants to become a champion someday? He a champion un jour. Now the reigning champion said, no, the incoming champion must not be a champion where I am leading. And the champion who is there, said that no, the one who is going to be a champion will not be a champion until I am there. So what do I do? So what do I do? David has to die. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, if not in your family, it will be in your community. If not in your community, it might be even among your Christian brothers and sisters who says you can never reign while they are reigning. Who, who are saying, as long as they are living, you are not entitled to live. By so doing, you deserve to die. And David said, wow! This is not the time to sleep. I better run for my dear life. There is nobody who is running and sleeping. You cannot be running and be sleeping. There is no army in the war front that, that is in the war front and, and be sleeping. This is clear. Do you know why the, the Bible did not call us uh, policemen in the Lord? The Bible says we are the army of God. The armies are made to fight battles. The Bible says we, we are made in God's image and likeness. What is what is no but what the what is the characteristic of God? Number one. Number one. He never sleep no slumber. And we are the children of God. Created in his image and likeness. Why are you sleeping and stumbling? Now the Bible says, as Saul was sleeping within the trench, and his spear stuck on the ground. Hey, man, to break the bow. And his spear stuck on the ground. He put his spear on the ground. His battle ass. He put his Okay, let's say he's gone on the ground. Just the same way many Christians drop their Bible on the ground. The Bible says his spear was on the ground. Uh, 
at his bolster. But Abner and the people lay round about him. Meaning his bodyguard was about around him. Now he put his spear on the ground. Hoping that he had bodyguards around him. Now, the Bible says in verse 8, then said Abishai to David, God has delivered the enemy into the hand. This day. The Bible said, You the pursuit person, and they made him sleeping, and all his body guys were sleeping around him. You, they say, Satan, you must die. And when Satan comes in the night, he meets you sleeping. This witch, you have to die. This witch, you have to die. And when the witch are coming, they meet you sleeping. <laughs> so, want to kill David. But now, Saul is sleeping. All the bodyguards he put his trust were sleeping. Brothers and sisters, are you sleeping? And I tell you, God, I need this blessing today. God, you, you have to bless me. Meanwhile, your Bible is relaxing. God, you have to bless me. Me, why you cannot pray? Me, why you cannot pray? The Bible says his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb, like dogs. They cannot back anymore. Why? Because they are sleeping. A sleeping dog does not bite. A sleeping dog does not back. Isaiah 56 verse 10. If you want to be a threat to the devil, you must learn to wake up. Why all that are sleeping, your eyes must be open because you are a watchdog. The Bible says they are sleeping. Lie down. Love it to slumber. That is the state of Christians, of lazy Christians, lazy get men, who want to build house without laying foundation, who want to become rich without working for it, looking for where the life is simple. Look for a pastor who pour anointing oil upon them and say it is well, go and be rich now. Just go to the river and bath, that is all, you are a rich man. You can leave the scene and come, I put, just open your mouth, I put the sweet go, it's well with you. Just come, open your mouth, I put the sweet there. Go, your life is sweet. It's well. It's well. Amen. Continue, sir. Ha, oh, wonderful. Praise the Lord. So, um, yeah, they are greedy dogs. Uh, Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10 to 12. So, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. 
Ils sont tous ignorants. Why would they not be ignorant? Pourquoi ils ne sont pas ignorants? Why would they not be dull? Pourquoi ils ne doivent pas être les chiens? Why would pastors not cheat on them? Pourquoi les pasteurs les trompent? Why would they not be spending money for nothing? Pourquoi ils ne dépensent pas l'argent pour eux? Why would they not give them a broom and say, pay one thousand dollars for you, this will help you? When they are lazy and sleepy Christians, the Bible says they love to sleep. Lie down. Love it to slumber. Yes, they are greedy dogs. Which can never have enough. Which can never have enough. The little they have, the pastors are get, taking it from them. Even the little peace they have is gone. The Bible calls us a Christian a lazy and a greedy dog. They are shepherds that can never understand. They all look on their own way. They both say, come, ye, come. Amen. Say to them, I prefer that. God bless you. So come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we fill ourselves with strong drink, and to, tomorrow shall be as today, and much more abundant. They are only looking for where things are okay. Even though we don't walk, we can eat. Even though we don't pray, let the testimony be rolling. Even though we don't fast, let God be doing it. The Bible says, it is not so. As a child of God, you must behave as God. The Bible says the God will serve neither sleep nor slumber. As a watchman in your house, you must wake up. As a watchman around your children, you must wake up. As a as the eye of the community, you must wake up. The Bible says we are the apple of God's eyes. When you are sleeping, you want God to sleep. When, when your eyes are blind, the Lord cannot do anything. Now, the Bible says, Hear me, O deaf. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 18. Hear me, you deaf. And look, you blind, that you may see. Hear me now, you blind Christian. Hear me now, you deaf Christian, that you may see or hear. Who is blind but my servant, my lazy servant? Who is this? As my messenger that I send. This is God speaking here. Who are the people who are blind? The Christians. Why would the devil not match them while they are sleeping? Why would you not receive oppression? Why would Mark not follow you all over your body? Where you are, eh, once it's 8 o'clock, I sleep. Oh. Eh, my time to sleep is 8 o'clock. As a child of God, as a woman with children, when they break, the husband will say, Hey, my darling, all my back is pain. Say, hey, no, it's not only you, even my own too. Ah! And you call yourself a Christian. Children are sleeping, wah, wah, wah. husband is sleeping, wah, wah. nobody is getting to anybody. The Lord is saying, Wake up tonight. Who is blind but my servant? Or death as my messenger that I send. Who is blind as they? I see that is perfect and blind as the Lord's servant. Saying many things, but observe not. Saying many things, observe not. They know how to speak it, but they don't know how to work for it. They know what they want, but they don't want to work for it. They want to get it simple. Pastor, fast for me, I give you money. Pastor, do this for me. I... The time of that is over. The days of laziness is over. Paying pastors to do anything for you is over. This is the time to wake up. You sleeping God, wake up. 
sleeping mother, wake up. Sleeping father, wake up. The Lord is telling you and I, we have to wake up. Because Satan does not sleep. Demons does not sleep. If you sleep, they will march you down. They say many things, but they observe not. Opening the eyes, the ears, but they hear not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the Lord and make it honorable. But these are people robbed and spoiled. Isaiah, 50, Isaiah 42, verse 22. This, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. The Christians of today, you get born again, that life may be okay for you. But now the life is more miserable. These are people, they have been robbed by their pastors. They have been robbed by their prophets. They have been robbed by so-called whoever they are. Why? Because they are lazy. Why? Because they are sleeping. Why? Because they don't want to walk. These are people. Rob, spoiled. They are all of them snare in holes. And they are hid in prison house. Who are they? Children of God. Who are they? The sons and daughters of God. Who are they? We call ourselves daughter of Zion. Where, who are we? Able men of God. But Satan is toiling with us. I am a man of God. And you are making compromise with that witch in your church. Because if you know, if you dare talk to that witch, you are in trouble in the night. You know that when the witch, you are a pastor, you make a lie with, with her. Or else, you are in trouble. Just as so many churches in Ireland. Churches full of witches and wizards. And all the pastors there, they have they have become fried plantain. If they, they talk, they are finished. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But these are people robbed. They are all in, hidden in a prison house. The children of God are hidden in a prison house. They are under oppression. Under depression, when they wake up in the morning, it's as if trailer passed through them. Why not? How can a child of God say, I'm sleeping for four hours, what are you doing? A Christian, a watchman, sleep for one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, what are you doing? You, when you have a lot to do, when you have a lot of people to take care of, you are sleeping for more than three hours. It is a taboo for the child. We serve a God who neither sleep nor slumber. That same God is telling you, my children, if you want to make it, you must wake up. If you want to leave that prison house, you must wake up. Or else, you will continue to run hectares, hectares. They will continue to pour annoyance oil on you. They will continue to do what they are doing to you. If you refuse to wake up. The Bible says, who are they? That are in prison house, my children. Who are they that are snare, my children? Who are they that Satan have caged, my children? Who are they that are spoiled, my children? Who, who I gave birth to? Who are supposed to be born in the way I'm born in? But because of laziness, I want the pastor to do it for me. I want the sister to do it for me. Hey, help me to fast. Hey, pastor. If you can help me, I give you 100 euro. It's a taboo. It is a taboo. Wake up. The Bible says, I am not delivering. Who will deliver who now? The pastor is sleeping. The members are sleeping. The wages in the church are operating. When they come, the altar becomes the, the altar of which are wizard. They can go to the altar and say that do whatever they want to do. In the church of God, the prayer bands are sleeping. The pastors are sleeping. The members are sleeping. Pastor's wife and all the witches are with them. They are doing whatever they are doing. It is time to wake up. 
It is time to wake up children of God. This is the hour to wake up. If you don't wake up, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. Because I not say restore. Nobody deliver. Nobody is saying, let us restore. Who is restoring who? Pastor did not sleep throughout the night. He was being oppressed. The member did not sleep throughout the night. They were being oppressed. Who is delivering who? Hmm. The Bible says in verse 3, Who among you will give ear to my word tonight? Isaiah 42, verse 23. Who among you? Who among you that is hearing the sound of my voice will give ear to my word? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? This is the hour to wake up children of God. This is not the time to run her task yet. This is the time to hold the bull by the horn. I say, no, I know who I am. Satan, when you see me, you must back off. No wonder they can manipulate your dream at night and make you settle. No! Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, stupid, stupid creatures. Wake up, children of God. The Bible says, and what about if you come at that time you never know? What about Jesus come when the time you are by the time you are sleeping? What would you do? Your Bible is so weird. You are sleeping here. What would you do? Mark 14, verse 37 to 40. And he come and find them sleeping. And said unto Peter, Simon, sleep thou. The Lord is asking you tonight. Put your state in that in the in the state of in the state of Simon Peter. And Jesus Christ come to them and said, Simon, are you sleeping? My daughter, are you sleeping? When fire is burning on the mountain, are you sleeping? Could not you watch with me for one hour, Peter? Prayer band, you cannot pray for two hours. You can watch television for what for ten hours, you cross your leg. Put your leg like this. Uh, yes. And Athena. Ned, good. Nigeria. Jim Ike is a very good actor. You will watch him for 10 hours. You will not sleep. But pray for 30 minutes. All the chair in your house, they are not having holes. Because you have put your head there. Boom. Boom. But you can watch him for a good 10 hours. No sleeping. Something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. You are not behaving as a child that Christ has given birth to. You need to wake up. Peter, are you sleeping? My children, are you sleeping? Watch ye and pray. Let you enter into temptation. That is why many people are entering into temptation now. They go to synagogue because they are lazy. They go to synagogue of Satan. They go to where, what, where they don't supposed to go because they are lazy. They don't want to pray their way through. They need to play where they don't, don't pour water on them. They say, go. Meanwhile, they load more demons upon them. Peter, are you sleeping? You that is listening to me, are you sleeping? Wake up. Watch ye therefore and pray. Lest you enter into temptation. The spirit is truly ready, but the flesh is weak. You must have to discipline your flesh. When you are in the world, you sleep for 10 hours. Now you are in Christ Jesus, you want to sleep for 11 hours. Like shame. Shame. You have not seen change. The same, the same sleeping method. That, uh, once it's 9 o'clock, no, I don't receive call anymore. Once it's 8 o'clock, no more receive call. I have to sleep at the last. Hey! 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and you go and wake up the next morning, 8 o'clock again. Shame. And you say you are a Christian? You say you are a Christian. When the Bible says, we, we rest on the against flesh and blood, but against principles and power, against the in, in darkness, in high places. Satan does not sleep, demons does not sleep, but you will sleep for more than 8 hours. Why would they deal with you? Look at many, many women. They are sorry to say it, but I want to wake up. 
there are like people who are pregnant. They are not pregnant. They come to death and load fire drugs in them. They say they are Christians. They are sleeping. They come in the night and inject fire drugs into them. Why? Because they are sleeping. Why will Satan do what he wants to do? But he knows you that you are a lady, but all you are thinking about is the rainy past of Toronto. I'm not saying you should. You, don't put hope on somebody. Wake up and pray. Wake up and pray. It is the time to wake up, brother. The Bible and the so and so is it, and and this thief coming in the night and plant seed into them. Wake up. The days of sleeping is over. Watch ye therefore and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. When you were in the world, you were being moved by the flesh. Now you are a Christian. Let the spirit dominate. The flesh cannot control you anymore. You must be able to say, no, I will sleep again this time around. I don't want to sleep again. When I sleep for one hour, it's enough. For time, it's enough. All I have to do is just to close it and, and remove it. It's enough. I remain as if, as if I have not been sleeping since. That is how Christians should be. You have children to take care of. You have husbands to take care of. You have, wife, you have brothers and sisters to take care of. Why? They are sleeping, you are sleeping. And you say, I am the Christian of the, of the house. What are you doing? The Bible says, and again, he went away. Just as your angel will come to you. Come to you. Let me go and bless her. It's time for me to bless her. He come to you with the child. Me to sleeping. Okay. Let me go. I'm coming back again. Come again, maybe after, he might come again after seven years, or after seven weeks. The Bible and Jesus can say, let me go. What was Peter doing with Jesus Christ? Say, come, come and watch and pray with me. Come and pray with me, Peter. He came and made me sleeping. Peter, why are you doing this to me? Just the same way Christ is Christ today, my prayer band. Why are you people doing this to me? The prayer you people are praying is the power I have to work for you. Your prayer is my energy. Ah, man, to break it. Your prayer is my energy. If I want to come and fight, I need your prayer. That will give me energy to come down. The angels I'm serving need your prayer. The Bible says, our brother Daniel prayed. The same day, the Lord answered his prayer. But the queen of Persia, hold on to the prayer. The Bible says, and Daniel kept on praying. And so was praying for another 20 to 21 days. As I was praying, the power was given to the to angel Michael to come down and fight for him. Your angel need your prayer to work for you. As you are prayerless, your angel is powerless. If I'm prayerless, my spirit and the angel is, is powerless. Then, and uh, when he returned again, listen, the first time he came, he made us sleepy. 12 o'clock, your angel comes, he made you sleepy. And he go away. The Bible, and Jesus Christ departed from them and went and prayed again. And when he returned, verse 40, he found them asleep again. Again. You are sleeping again. The first day he meet you, he said, he made them sleeping again. Are you still sleeping? You slept last year and all your destiny, blessing was stolen from you. You struggled to try 2013 because you were sleeping. Are you still sleeping again? Try last month. Let me tell you, every day that comes come with its own allocation, every day that comes in your life, come with a new allocation. If you sleep, the allocation will be sleeping. You slept in 2013. You have nothing to write home about. There's nothing to say, yes, I was the one that did this for God. How can you perform? How would they not cheat on you? 
How we do not play on you? How we set and not send these demons to come and start pumping demon people? Because the Christians of this day are lazy Christians. He came and made them sleeping again. He went away. That's how some people bless you come and go away. When you are sleeping, say no, I cannot bless you when you are sleeping. They go away. Now, verse 40. And when he returned, he found them asleep again. For their eyes were heavy. Hey, first time. Second time. This time around, their eyes were heavy. Just as you. Last year you slept. This year, you know you slept. Now, you are now deep in sleep. Wake up. Wake up. Your eyes heavy. Does not hide now. Hmm. The Bible says, And he came to them the third time and said unto them, Sleep on now. What a shame. What a shame. He came the first time, second time, third time. He was tired of them. That is how some people's angels are tired of them. Sleep on now. Keep sleeping. I cannot walk on you anymore. Right on. But if I were you tonight, I'll say no. I don't sleep anymore. Enough is enough. The days of sleeping is over. I am the watch of my family. I am the watch of my community. My eyes need to open. Don't allow Christ to tell you sleep on. You are in trouble. No, I allow your angel to tell you, step on, you are in trouble. That's why, look at all the churches in Ireland, witches and wizards. Even Jenny here. Which now become pastors. And no prayer band can see. How, why will you see when you are gossiping and praying? The only time your eyes open is to start gossiping. To start calling up and down. Sister, yeah, you, you see the way Sister Claire preaches today? She is so vibrant. I, 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 I hate her to my liking. I am expecting to be blessed. And why is she too... She, why? The only time you are still awake is to start carrying phone up and down. Gossiping. Lying. Lying. And say you are a prayer warrior. Prayer worn out. Wake up. Don't allow Christ to tell you sleep on or else you're in trouble. Don't sleep on. Wake up tonight. Ministers of God, wake up. Children of God, wake up. When you are lazy, you are sleeping. It's not only when you close your eyes. Even when your eyes open, you are, not, you are busy doing nothing, you are sleeping. Some of us, we are lazy to pray, but we can talk on phone for more than 20, 20 hours, lying up and down. You can call people from throughout the day, you can watch Nigeria film, watch Ghana film for more than 10 hours, but you cannot pray for 3 hours. Why? Because you are looking for where miracle is. Why would they deal with you? Why would the demons start becoming, why would the demons start reigning in your church? Because of time, the Bible says in Isaiah 5 verse 27, verse 29, No shall be weary. Let me tell you this, these are the real Christians. The way Christians should be. Say, none of the Christians shall be weary. No slumber among them. No shall be weary, no slumber among them. Among all the virtuous women, no shall be weary or slumber. I mean the real virtuous women. Not all those, all those, all those demons inside. Not all those demons who are coming to, 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 to ask Sister Claire, uh, Sister Claire, uh, how far now? And you know, so that you will get some, some words out of her mouth. Take it to your coven, take it to your sea, to the sea, and start using your manipulated dream. And start telling her, I saw a revelation. 
That same God that stopped all those nonsense revelation in, in this ministry will stop it in that in that place. You come to the river and start telling, hey, I saw dream, I saw revelation. And now because she's so open, she's ready to condone any anybody. Hey, hey, my sister, what is the revelation? Demonic revelation. The revelation from the Marie Kingdom. You you put words into her mouth. You take it. You start using it to see demonic revelation. The Lord says, uh, yes, the Lord says, and uh, nothing. After these hours, all those visions shall stop there in the name of Jesus Christ. All those demonic witch and winds that revelation they are still from the Marie Kingdom. It, it, time to stop it, it, it now. Whoever that they see nonsense revelation again in that ministry will die. Will die. Because the days of evil, the days of sleeping in that ministry is over now. They try to introduce it in mountain of social redemption. The Lord sealed them out. Nobody, nobody, do, uh, 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 Apostle, uh, before you call, you must be sure. If I'm not sure, I will disgrace you. I will disgrace you. See that or it, it or it stop. See that clear you must wake up. You must wake up or else these people will use you to play ball. The days of sleep is over. Anybody that come and tell you I I I dream and I saw you, Sister Claire. Hey! When they are they, they, they are manipulated for the Marie Kingdom. Not all of them, most of them. Because you are busy, you are sleeping, you can do all. Yes. And a sister sort of revelation. What you wrote before you cancel it again. I have saw so many things. What, what you wrote before you cancel uh, Now, uh, God, now show me revelation. You cancel it. Revelation to confuse you. Enough. It's enough for that. Nobody in the mouth. I am not be boasting. I am I was supposed to say I boast in the Lord. As far as the ministry is under my care, that God said, my son, I have sent you. Nobody, be you anything in the ministry, you dare not. You dare not misbehave. It's not done. It's not done. Say, my son, go. Go. I back you up. When you come, you must maintain. If you are not ready to maintain, you back off. Start clear, you must wake up. Because sometimes what some things I'm seeing, if you don't wake up, hmm, it's not all revelation that comes to you. There are some you don't even need to consider. Last year there was a man. He tried to start being uh, 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 clear. If they want to get you, they will start they first of all start seeing revelation to pray to, to, to praise you. Once you accept that one for praise, you are finished. They have entered you. And yes, uh, Apostle Manuel is a real man of God. The next day, want to change? Says, shut up there. In this ministry, it's not done. You don't, you don't say nonsense dream here. That was the end. He stopped. Another guy came again. I shut up. They, they have to respect the God that is in the ministry, or else they will be playing you. This will come, tumble you, and go away. Come, tumble you, and go away. The end has come. Virtuous women, the end has come. The day, I pray, the prayer band there, I will be joined there for prayer sometimes. Enough is enough. How would you have prayer band and somebody will come and start seeing nonsense vision and nobody will, know, nobody will know this is a nonsense vision. This revelation is from the pit of hell. Everybody will ask them, let, let us pray about it. What are you praying about? Because the leader is sleeping. Everybody is sleeping. Pray about are sleeping. Why would they come and do nonsense and go away? Yesterday, this morning, I mean yesterday, 
the wife called me, hey, hey, my, hey, honey, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw that job. I said, okay, you saw that job? Yes. Hey, the moon just left. Because she saw one before, we were praising God, hey, Father, have mercy. The devil that come now. The moon, he saw the moon fall out. Everyone was dead. And later, light just coming. A man came. A man just come down. And one woman followed. Hey, she was like, I miss it. Oh, I miss it. Oh. She hold the woman. As you're going, the man said, You're trying to come down. The Lord said to me, It's not me that come. They wanted to come and pull, carry your wife away. So that they will spoil her. So that your ministry will be finished. If I were not in spirit, I would say, Hey, my wife, hey, rapture. God of Omoka, Lord Jesus, because I spoke about him, he wanted to come and do that to me. But God stopped him. But my wife, because she's sleeping, she, she thought she had missed rapture. There are some rapture you will miss, you'll be happy. There are some heaven you will miss, you'll be happy. There are some demonic heaven. Hey, I miss heaven. Hey, if you have heard of heaven, you're always finished. Because Satan came to this, this, this say that can come and carry people out of, out of their body. The way Christ is doing it, we must wake up. We, it's not all rapture, you see that I'm rapture. Satan also comes to do the counterfeit of, of, of God. And you are crying, hey, rapture, I miss rapture. I miss rapture. No shall be weary, nor slumber among them. No shall slumber, nor sleep. Isaiah 5 verse 27. Neither shall the guido of their lions lose, nor the lashes of their shoes be broken. Whose arrow are sharp, sharp your arrow. If you want to be a terror, sharp your arrow. Let your spirit be vibrant. I'm saying it's stay too long. If you think I'm staying too long, you can go asleep. Go asleep. Wake up. Wake up. I, this, I give you this. When you get home, you read it. Isaiah, 50, Isaiah 5, verse 27 to 29. Let me tell you why it is very dangerous to sleep. After last year program, last year uh, convention, I, at least because I was the only man, the only man of God that, that did everything last year. Because no, no other man of God, God came. Sometimes myself and Sister Sylvia, Sister Imade, and then we stayed dead from, because of deliverance, 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 we stayed for more than 10 hours, sometimes 3 hours, 4 hours, after normal, normal program. People coming for deliverance, coming for deliverance, only me, no, no, other, no other pastor. Now, Satan was expecting after the program, I need to go and rest and sleep. What happened? The next day, program still continued. In the morning, Sackler, in the morning, I said, let me close my eyes. I saw the whole, like, it was like the whole world. A man came down. The same carbon copy with this Jesus Christ that they see. Came down. Everybody were buying down, serving him, worshiping. Hey, Amen. Christ have come over. He had both white, black, blue. All of them were lying down. We were just laid down. Lay down them. Yes, yes. This that said red. This thing was on his on his shoulder. Everything like like Jesus. As I come and look, I look at the man. I said, mm mm, mm mm. I said, Jesus Christ did not tell me he's coming again to land on the ground and start walking like, 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 uh, like, kete kete. Like one, one foul on the ground again. No! The Bible told me, told me that he will, he will be on the air and we all shall go and meet him. First Thessalonians. This one that came down and touched the ground, I will not serve this one. I will not worship this one. Everybody will buy down. And to see the trick of the devil. As they gather, one man came to me. Say, ah, 
Apostle, Jesus Christ that you have been working for have come. Can't you come and serve him? I say, mm -mm, this one, I will not. The man wants to use trick on me. We have to wake up. If your spirit is not awake, you are in trouble. He said, hey, the people I'm using no earth. I want to start calling them now. The people have decided to use no earth. Hey, hey, Linda. And the leader came out. I said, eh? Linda. Exactly the picture, the statue of Linda. Linda came out. He entered one room. So, so, so Percy, he was calling them. And later, uh, uh, my great, my great uh, uh, apostle, Emmanuel, come. <laughs> I look. I said, hey. I said, okay. I went, he said, I went straight to the Linda. I said, Linda, you look at me. Say, if actually this is the Jesus you saw, you said you said you saw in heaven. Open your mouth and say, Jesus Christ, you are the one I see heaven. If you can be able to tell me that one now. I will go and bother for him. I said, Linda, he, she, he called you, Linda. He said, he didn't open, open her mouth. He said, now, if you can be bold to tell me, this is the Jesus Christ. You say you go to heaven. You, you, you say you are the Linda that went to heaven. He said, I said, now, if you can be bold to open your mouth and say, this is the Jesus Christ. I went to heaven. And this is the Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and met the heaven. I'll go and, I'll go and serve him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, say it. No way. He could not say it. And I hear one more one, 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 one telling the, the stupid, they call it, call it said Jesus. And the last crusade was powerful. To, so that to cajole me. And the last crusade I just finished now was powerful. Hey, the power really came down. Thank you so much. You really work. As I was saying that my spirit got angry. I pushed their Linda away. I left. As I was going, the they are, they are just going to look at me. He shake it. As he shake it, he turned to his normal, normal, normal demon. As he turned, the, everybody shout, who he said, everybody shut up your mouth. You are bowed down, you are bowed down already. I look at them. I jump. I saw my wife from so coming. I said, honey, I hope you did not. He said, no, I've been watching you since. I was waiting for you to bow down. If you are bowed down, you are bowed down. Men, please. Women, if you fall, your children may fall. Men, if you go down, your wife will go down. She said, I'll be watching you from the corner to see if you will bow down. If you have bowed down, I would have also bowed down where I am. Because you didn't bow down, that's why I came now. I didn't also bow down. You are the watch of your family. If I have bowed down for that, for that demonic Jesus that day, this ministry would have been finished. Would have, would have, by now, they would have been serving the devil, serving the devil in this ministry. But because I never allow my spirit to sleep after, after conversion, I still say, no, the work continues. But if I have slept, I say, okay, it's time to relax now. Let me relax for two weeks or three weeks. I would have bowed down for the devil. Brothers and sisters, you must have bowed down before. Don't bow down again. You have been sleeping. Read Isaiah 5, 27 to 28. You know what the Bible says about us. We are not to sleep. We are not to bother for the devil. You have run too much to all these demonic pastors. Enough is enough. They have dealt with you for too long. Throughout last year, nothing came, nothing good happened because of you. You were sleeping. From January to now, now you have been running at skater. You have been running from here to here. Enough is enough. Wake up. Change your schedule. As early as 8 o'clock, I'm already sleeping. It's enough. Wake up. You are the guide of your family. You are the one that God has sent to that community. If you are down, your community is down. Your angel cannot work more than your prayer. 
your angel cannot work on one of your prayer. Your prayer is the power that your angel used to work. There is no way you will not fall into sin as soon as you are sleeping. Wake up. Wake up. Carry your Bible. Study. Something about you is written in that Bible. Study it, you get it there. The miracle you are looking for is written in that Bible. Wake up and sleep. Uh, it's there. Pray and pray your way through. Like Claire, the time to wake up has come. The prayer ban in that, that ministry, virtuous women, wake up, I beg you people. Even if the congregation is sleeping, please, the prayer ban must wake up. Even if Sister Claire is, wake, is sleeping, let the prayer ban wake up for her. Because if I walk and walk and walk through her the day, she will be tired. Let the prayer band wake up and defend her. The hour has come. It's time for the ministry to stand and say, yes, this time around, no witch or wizard can come here and say nonsense. No, those demons is enough for them. They have worked on this ministry for too long. This ministry has suffered for too long. They have come with fake vision for too long. And enough is enough. While they are speaking, we know who they are. Shut up there. Let us join hands together and sleep no more. Sleep no more. Even Mount Jesus, prayer ministry, the prayer band, sleep no more. Let us wake up. If I am not boasting, if I can say so that prayer band should do more. That is the issue, that is the reason prayer band. When we were in our service of God those days, prayer band they pray. Prayer band they are the power of the pastor. So pastors have no power, but because of the prayer band, the pastor will be powerful. But today it's no more like that. Prayer band are sleeping, pastor is sleeping, the ocean are sleeping, everybody are sleeping. Praise of Jesus. Let us wake up. Sackler, let us wake up. Prayer band, let us wake up. Children of God, let us wake up. I will see life will be sweet. Life is sweet when you are not sleeping. You cannot be sleeping and be enjoying life. No. You, you enjoy life when your eyes are open. Praise Master Jesus. This is the word of God tonight. And uh, please also send a note of warning. If anybody call anybody from the, from the mountain of solution and redemption friends worldwide, be it a woman or a man or anybody that call you and say, Apostle Emmanuel has sent me to call you. Please let it tell the person I will call Apostle first. Please, I don't need staying in this ministry. If anything happens in this ministry, God will hold me responsible. If you must call Brother Dennis Apostolic or anybody, let it be that I have signed it. If you must call Sister Sylvia, Sister Emmanuel, please accept you are doing it independently. As far as because of mountain of solution and redemption, please. Not the one they are doing in virtuous women. That you can be in a ministry and be paying tight in, a, in, in another place. Because you said because the person is also there. It's not done here. You are free to go and say, yes, I want to start a ministry. So no problem. But as far as you are under the virtuous women, you must obey the law of virtuous women. If anything is happening, the Lord will ask Sister Claire. You know, if anything is happening in this ministry, He will ask me alone. No other person. When He called me, He called me alone. Every other person are working, are workers in the ministry. I see no reason 
when another person will be the father, when, when the, the person that God has put as the aim of the ministry is there, another person will become father, another person will become mother somewhere. The, old, the person God has anointed for, for, for the ministry is there. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I know the Lord is speaking now. The Lord is angry. And whoever that is taking time under that ministry will pay in hell. We pay in hell. Then whoever that be taking time, that means go he must from the beginning of the end must turn it back to the ministry. As far the person was under the ministry and the time was coming to him or her, he must pay a toll, save the Lord. And said, Sacred said, I'm forgiven. If not, if not, the door of heaven is close to such people. Tell them, if there's anybody in virtuous women that was preaching under virtuous women, and that was given to the person or to the group of people, and they were taking it. <laughs> Let them wait for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let them go and calculate it all. Let them go if they know what they, if they know the kind of God that called this woman. If they know the God, she might not be talking. But God is speaking right now. Tell them, I don't care to know who they are. Tell them they should go and calculate from the first day they started to receive the tithe till now and send it back to a virtuous women ministry. Or else. Or else. Very soon, that home will be a problem. Even though it's Pastor, what, um, what's his name? Pastor Porica, as long it was under virtuous women, and he's, he's working under virtuous women, he have no right to take any touch from them. Or else. Is working against the rule of God. As long you are there, as long you are you, you are serving under the her, you have no right to take tight under her. So please take this message to wherever, whoever that have, have ever let them come from India, let them come from uh, Pakistan, let them come from US. They come from Nigeria that have ever worked in that ministry. And because they have they are working in that ministry, they took tight from that ministry. <laughs> if they don't pay it now, they'll pay it in hell. If they don't accept they have called the the woman in charge and she tell them, Okay, I pray for you people, you will eat the tight. And it will be well. Except that the Lord said, I should tell them it cannot be well with them. It will never be well. Whatever they touch will crumble and at the end will go to hellfire. Unless they repent and say, My dear, I collected so when I was with you, or as I am with you now, I have collected tight of about 1,000 euro, 300 euro or 200 euro. Look at the money. Oh, I don't have the money now. How do you want me to pay it? She will say, okay. And you know, okay, i leave it for you. Or, oh, no. Come on, pay it. I said that. It's fire on the mountain. I don't talk for talking sake. I'm not speaking for speaking sake. There's no water, water in my mouth. Coming tomorrow, I will say the same thing. They have robbed God. They have robbed God. They have stolen from God. And their soul is in torment. No matter what they do now, it's nothing before the Lord. As far as they are armed robbers, highway robbers, there's nothing they will ever do to please God until they come back and say, eh, Mommy in the Lord, or so so, 
we stole this money. So, so tight paid to me. And when I was a prayer band, because I prayed so much, people now say, okay, I pray well. They are not paying tight to me. See the tight. Or S. There is problem somewhere. Praise Mother Jesus. Praise the Lord. There are many to, many to say that there is a big satellite facing island. But there is no time. If there was time, there are many to say, uh, say about island. But God will have mercy. Those three dogs that, that just came to that land now, three dogs, monitoring demon, and they spread diseases, spiritual diseases. Those dogs are the owner with that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, mm. every dog that is dead, they are human beings. They are not dogs. They are big, big three dogs. Physically, it's there. But actually, they are not dogs. They are demons. Because if they come as demons, people will run away. Now, they come as dogs. They are not dogs. Hey, man, to break the bull. Rima Kandaya. God bless you, Sir Claire. Over to you. Hallelujah. Let's go 